I think I want to tell you a little bit of a story. I'm on fire today. So who's gonna put me out? 22 years ago, Lisa and I were going through our pregnancy with Mallory. And during the pregnancy in the first trimester, Lisa started having some problems. They didn't think she'd live through the pregnancy. Everybody running At the same time, uh, Jim and Shannon were going through pregnancy with twins. My parents then turned to God, pleading and praying for baby B. Thankfully, uh, things shifted in the womb and baby A actually covered up the hole that was in the amniotic sac and fluid began to develop again. Even though they were told that baby B would have significant orthopedic and neurologic abnormalities, God miraculously provided for them. And they were both were able to make it through to the end of the pregnancy. So Mallory is our miracle child. I'm proud to say here we are at baby B's wedding. He's happy, he's healthy, he's smiling. The intertwining of the two of them began the fact they were born in the same hospital, delivered by the same physician, two weeks apart. It's obvious that their lives were destined to interact with each other even before they knew it, but God had a plan. We are so proud of the woman you have become. You have such a kind and empathetic spirit that I've always admired. You have always listened to people well, and you love people well. Brayden, I expect you to be Mallory's best friend, her confidant, and her protector. Put her first, listen to her well, and unconditionally love her. Mallory, this guy is crazy about you. He loves you, he adores you, and I can guarantee you that he will do all that he can to keep you safe, protect you, and care for you. As the older twin, by a whole 60 seconds, I've always been one step ahead of Braden. But, while I won the foot race out of the womb, Brayden has won the race in finding his beautiful bride. Brayden is driven, determined, and works unbelievably hard. I've watched him work three separate jobs in the summers to earn enough money to pay for a special ring for Mallory. Brayden is a fighter. The fact he is here today is literally a miracle from God. Mallory, I assure you that Brain will continue to fight for you, your marriage, and your future family. For the last 22 years, Brayden and I have walked through life together side by side. However, with excitement and a full heart, I think it's officially time for Mallory to take over this beloved role. Your guys' desire for this day and the days moving forward was for today to be a springboard to something special. You don't want to just have a wedding today. You want to have an amazing marriage. 
And so that's what I love about you. Mallory, I have given myself to Christ, and God has in return given you to me. Therefore, I, Brayden, take you, Mallory, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. I'm so proud of you, so thankful for you, and as this new Leighton family, let's get you married. With the blessing of the Lord, it is my amazing privilege to now pronounce you as husband and wife. Brayden, you may kiss your bride. The moment you marry your best friends, it seems like time just moves twice as fast and all you want to do is slow it down. So today, take a moment to look at all the family friends that are here to celebrate you both. I hope you see and feel how loved and special you guys are together. You know I can turn away, it's warm in the water, jump in the way. When I'm with you, there's no sense of time. I'm privileged and glad to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Braden and Mallory Layton.